Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and we're surviving on the open waters of Dredge once again. Today's an exciting one because we are going to be heading over to Devil's Spine. But before that, uh, I did say a few episodes ago I wanted to go visit this old Tiki Town. So being that we were just uh, here, I figured we'd stop off and see if there's anything here. Because there was something in this bay, but I'm wondering... There's got to be something else here. I believe we got one of the reclaimed metals here. Oh, yeah, there's actually something right here. The stone hums quietly sending ripples through the air around it. Uh, so it's just one of these things. Is this all that's here? Uh, still don't know how to make those things do anything. I'm. It, it just... It, it doesn't respond to my touch. Oh, okay. There's still more to dredge. There's something over on that um, beach, though. I may as well grab these. I'm going to need lots of wood. We just upgraded our boat, so we need lots to go to the next tier. And yeah, I keep hearing a dog bark. I don't think I've ever heard anything like that in this game. All right, so that spot's been depleted. It's now nighttime. What is this? Oh, it is a dog. There's a skinny brown dog leaping around in the shallows. Occasionally, it lunches at the water, snapping at some small silver leaf fish. Its technique is ineffective. Yeah, I'm just going to leave the dog. No, let's see what's going on. You jump off the boat into the thigh high water the dog stops chasing the fish and focuses on you all right you never pet a stray dog right away they might uh you know bite you so let's slowly approach the dog backs up a little ways it sits okay um should i slowly approach again no let's call for it make some soft encouraging noises and the dog cautiously approaches it stops just out of your reach i'm gonna slowly approach again it seems startled and runs back up to the shrine damn it all right, well, clearly it's looking for fish, so let's uh, hold out some fish. The dog approaches slowly, but soon begins licking at them. I'm going to pet the dog now. It seems to understand you're not a threat. Is that it? You make your way back towards the boat. As you're wading out, you hear the sloshing of four legs cutting through the water. You stop and turn around. Oh, we got it. We, we, we can take it, please. This is so cool. Yeah, I'm going to let it follow me. It's tail wagging so hard it beats the water into a froth behind it. When you get in the boat, you turn around and pull the dog on board. Oh my god, I got a dog. Oh, uh, what the hell do I do with this guy now? <laughs> Maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home. You mean my boat? I'm not getting rid of it if, if I don't need to. Mind you, I'm very worried about getting into a shipwreck and having the dog go overboard. But we'll worry about that later. What a way to start. We have a dog on our boat and also we're being possessed. So that's fantastic. All right, the crab pots have been soaking for like a week now. So I thought we should maybe grab these, you know. Get these poor crabs out of here that have been living here for a week. And yeah, they do need to be repaired, so... Can I even pick that up? Okay, I can. So it's nice to know, even if they're totally destroyed, they still hold the crab. So I don't need to worry about the pots too much. Uh, but yeah, you do need, do need to repair them over time. I'm gonna buy an extra one as well. We'll just keep throwing pots around. I think I might move them, though. I don't want to keep getting these massive crabs. All right, and it's uh, beautiful in the morning time in this game. Oh, God, I absolutely love just exploring in this game. So there's a bunch of these islands. I think you guys know that I really like exploring these random islands now to find random quests. So before we head over there, let's stop off at these islands. This place looks insane. Very mountainous. All right, there's definitely something on this small rock out here. It looks to be like a shipwreck. So we'll head towards that. I'm assuming there might be a fourth death guy. <laughs> It seems like there's death guys at every part of the map. Oh, yeah, I just called it, man. I see him right there sitting out here. So we have a red one now. So yeah, we're going to have to do a whole episode just finishing up these guys. What do you want to eat, sir? Deliver the vessel. All right, so a cusk eel. Haven't found that yet, but if we do, we shall feed death his fish. Is that it that's here? Not for sure this would be something. Oh, my God, there's lava there. You see that? Oh, is this a lava area? There's obviously a sunken city here. Oh, this is getting me excited for this place. So, yeah, we are, like, literally in lava territory. I'm just going to go around this island. Um, if there's nothing here, we'll head over to the mainland, and it's going to be nighttime soon, so I would like to sleep. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much here, but this lava gets me so excited just seeing that around. Uh, yeah, there's death. Okay, so we need to head over to this small island over here. So this thing... And we should be able to hopefully sleep there. What the hell is this place? We got geysers here. Does, will this hurt me? It doesn't hurt me. Okay. Of course I have to test it. Oh, the dock's right here. I didn't even see it. Perfect. All right. There's got to be somebody here. Oh, hello. A man meets you as you dock, bracing himself against the wind and spray. Oh, rapturous day, a fresh disciple carried to me atop the waves. Come ashore, weak thing, and rest your weary soul. I don't trust this guy. No, I don't. I'm just passing through. I guess I'm I'm the answer. The rite of purification is almost at hand, and you are to be my replacement. 
I don't want to be. Oh, I guess I'm listening. Your trial begins immediately. Tell me, what does your spirit seek? <laughs> Emptiness. Ah, uh, yes, a pure vessel. Only those devoid of immortality can ascend past it. And your flesh, what does it crave? The warmth of the sun. And yet it eludes you. Darkness is cast over the rest of your days. This is depressing. Finally, what what does the world deserve? Does it, do, do doing these change the ending, I'm wondering? I hope I don't change the ending because I didn't really think about this. What does the world deserve? Everything. In a way, it deserves all that is washed ashore, freely given from the deep, but no more than that. The trial is concluded. You still have much to learn, but that knowledge will be delivered to you in time. What are you on about? All right, so I'm the Herald of the Purge. Right, just as I was before me. Um, the nearby spire blazed with eternal fire, yet the stone hearths of these three idols lie barren and void. So I need to retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles. What are frigger crags? Visit the Shrine of the Deep. I will mark them. They will offer further guidance, and I m must provide no more. Okay. Thanks, man. All right, there's statues here we can look at. Oh, okay, so we got to put something on every one of the statues. And I'm assuming we get those from the flames or whatever that guy told me to get. There's also stone columns. This carving shows a swarm of small fish surrounding a boat. The ravenous children alone, they are nothing. Together, they summon her. Beneath those words, somebody has added a crudely scratched note. Do not let them grip you. Burn them away. What am I getting myself into? All right, so there's something about a big creature. It's blind, but can hear her children avoid at all costs. And the bubbling vent. It's carving just a bubbling underwater vent. The breath of salvation. It burns those that mean harm. Only the pure remain. Well, I'm pure, I hope. Protection. Follow the magma. Find them. Okay, well, that was actually good information. So we want to actually follow the magma, I'm assuming. And it's protection. All right, I'm glad I checked that out. Sounds like this area is going to be kind of difficult. I'm not shocked by that, being that this is the final area. So we are going to leave in the daytime. And where did this guy jot on the map? Okay, so the three islands all have unique flames. Got it. And it essentially said he wants us to follow the magma. You can actually see there's like an actual walkway here. So do we... Sh I think we have to like stay on these or possibly we're, we're attacked. I have no idea. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Okay, okay, okay. Those are the little ones. Stop! Oh, it's slowing me down. Okay, so it said the flames won't hurt me, right? Because I'm I'm good. So we're just gonna head in here. This is awful. This is, God, I thought I thought the swamps was bad. Um, I'm looking. It's right here. Oh, it's the flame. The flame's right here. Perfect. All right, careful. Every time I hit a wall, it's thirty dollars. Do not want to waste a stone shrine. Upright slab bears a carving. Two heavily plated creatures locked in battle. Okay. Well, I dropped my crab pots. Hopefully they're right there. Good good timing on that. So we need crabs for this one. So it sounds like every island is going to be a unique type of fish. Kind of like the swamps with the um, guy trying to kill those massive things. What is this? This is new. Is this a trinket? Because I've never seen this shape before. I'm getting excited now. A stone tablet. Huh. Maybe the trader at Little Morrow knows something about this. All right, well, we're not getting to Little Morrow anytime soon, but I'm assuming I can just sell it. All right, so we're going to leave the island now because I don't want to deal with Big Mama over there. And we're going to try and find the other flame, which is right over here somewhere, and see what kind of fish we need for that one. How do I get in there? Oh, I got to blow this up, don't I? I just saw this sparkle. I can buy research from you? When did it... What? Oh, that is, that is annoying. You know what? I'm rich. I'm going to buy that one. So is that every day I can just buy research? Why have I been doing all these quests? Actually, they've been fun, so I'm, I'm not mad about it. But uh, did not know you could buy freaking research from this lady. Oh, it looks like maybe it is one max and that's it. All right. Well, we got two explosives. Let's go see if we can get to the second area. Actually, let's check these pots as well. See if we got the new crabs. Look at that. Both of them right there. <laughs> Ah, uh, perfect. All right. Thank you, pots. Um, yeah, we got lots of them. So we'll go grab those later and sell them. But let's go do this flame. Excuse me. Don't hit my boat. I'm getting pretty good at this now. All right. These, these have to be them, right? All right. Other way. There you go. And battle, my brothers. The rock splits with an almighty crack. It crumbles away, revealing its core. I got the fathomless flame. I got a silver plate. I got a goblet. And some lumber. And a research point. All right. 
Well, that wasn't too bad. That worked out really well. One crab pot and I got everything I needed. I'm assuming the other ones might be a little bit harder. All right, dog. I'm going to store you because I'm scared I'm going to lose you, buddy. So you can just stay in here with all this other stuff. You'll be fine here. The uh, traveling merchant is a nice lady. Let's go grab this flame and see what this one wants. Uh, didn't I already get this thing? No, it's a qu it's a question mark, so I haven't. So, some sort of stingray and a uh, fish with massive fins. Okay. All right, you know what? I, I may as well do this. I'm too curious. There's a massive fish in there. I wonder if it's the uh, one rare fish that we need for that one quest. Because, yeah, there's something right here. No, that's not it. But what the hell is this thing? This has to be worth quite a bit. Usually fish that are in explosives. Oh, it is it! Oh! Oh, God. Um, okay, hold on, hold on. Just stay in here for a second. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, I gotta get this guy in here. There we go. I can't believe that. I <laughs> I assumed it was it, but I didn't actually think it was it. All right, so we got that. That's two research points. Ow. Oh, God. Okay, well, my line's disabled. At least I didn't lose the fish. Let's head back before I lose this thing. And what is that? Why can I break all these things? Like, why would I want to? I guess to avoid the fish that are around. Oh, yeah. I don't even need to go back to um, put this quest in because it's the traveling merchant that needs this fish. So I have it. There you go. And two more research. Perfect. Now, now I can sell this thing. I never you thought you'd complete these records. Is there anything else you want to talk about? No. I just want to sell you fish now. So there you go. $421. Oh, my God. I am earning so much money now. Do you have any more of those uh, research points? <laughs> no, unfortunately, I think she only holds one total. All right, I got six research. I think I'm gonna, I was thinking about getting this pull, but honestly, it's just a fast pull. It doesn't, it's not really, uh, honestly, this pull's better just because it can catch more fish. And I think the co combination of this pull and this winch is like perfect because we do Abyssal, Hadal, Oceanic, and Coastal Mangrove, Shallow, Volcanic. So I think that's literally every zone. So well worth the three research if you, if I do say so myself. It's also smaller, so I have more in inventory space for fish. So that's fantastic. I don't know what else I want to buy. I think I'm going to save for the engine now. I only need two more, so we should be able to get that soon. All right, so goodbye to the old and hello to the new $675. But yeah, it's so small. This is perfect. This is actually fantastic. And there we go. Oh, I think this is the fish right here that we needed for the second flame. Oh, there's a dock here. Is this is this dockable? Yeah, what the hell is this place? Might be able to sleep here. A cave, great, and an ancient lighthouse. Wonder if there's another crazy lighthouse lady. I can't see a handle, but there's a large socket carved into the face of the door. What the hell is this now? Oh, another thing. Okay, you can return these items later. So, oh, you know what? It's that stone tablet, I'm assuming. I found one of them. I need four, possibly? Let's head into the cave. Check the left wall. These paintings depict the birth of civilization, a great beacon of light shown repelling a tentacled figure emerging from the sea. Great. And the right wall, uh, the fall of civilization. A volcanic eruption tears through the tall lighthouse. Monstrous shapes devour people as buildings turn to ruin. Well, I'm excited for the future. All right, so that's it here. I guess we'll sleep here. This seems like a n nice place to sleep. All right, so we can put the flame on one of these things. And there we go. So I'm assuming something will happen when we get all three flames. <gasps> Stingray! Stingray, yes! Oh, I think I got it! <gasps> Ooh! Can get a trophy as well, if we're fast. God damn it! I hate that! Why wouldn't you go to the one that has the trophy on it? Now I missed it. Oh well. This should be the second flame done. We got a mutant one as well, so that's exciting. Also, the third flame is right beside this, so I wanted to go see what that was all about. Just got lucky and found this while I was heading over there. Um, it should be right over here somewhere? All right, I'm going to pull those guys in. I'm just going to banish them. And let's see what we need for this flame. Whoa, 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 whoa. Two malformed fish writhing under the sun. Okay, maybe this isn't the place, but we'll put one of these fish in here and we'll look for another malformed one. Is that not the flame? Because I'm right by the X. It probably is the flame. I, I probably need to get two malformed fish for this one. There's a dolphin here or something. What is this? Whoa, that's not a dolphin. Oh, get out of here. Just let me catch one of these. A frilled shark. Oh, God, this is big. Uh, there we go. Oh, please screw off. Okay, I just... Oh, I'm, getting stuff, I'm still getting attacked. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't realize that would happen. Uh, oh, my thing's on cooldown. This sucks. All right, so before I lose this stingray, let's uh, put this thing in here. Uh, I'm down to one. There we go. 
And, ooh, two refined metal. I needed two to get my tier four upgrade, so don't need to buy those now. Fantastic. And there is two out of the three done. I'm gonna head back and repair this ship before I lose something important. Okay, and all I need now to upgrade my hull is an ordinary scrap, which I don't actually have, I don't think. So that's unfortunate, but we should be able to find that. Oh, no, that's not a scrap. <laughs> that's my new fathomless winch. Um, but yeah, we should be able to get this done soon. Oh, perfect. Is that scrap right here? Yep, it is. Okay, well, we'll get this ship upgrade now if we can afford it, which we should be able to. We have over a thousand. Okay, and there we go. Whoa, Jesus. Okay, maybe we can't afford it. 1,500 bucks we need. Mind you, my uh, crab pots are probably full, so we have to be close. Okay, we should definitely have enough. We still have an extra crab over there if we need it, but I think I have 1,300 right now, so usually these are over 100 each. Or sorry, 200 each. 188. What am I at? 1575. Perfect. That's all I need. All right. Let's spend the big bucks and get the final upgraded hull. Now we just need to get the final upgrades here. Let's look at this thing. Oh, is it bigger? Yeah, it looks like it has an extra uh, tier. And with that, I'm assuming... Oh my god, look at my inventory. This is... Oh, this is a much needed upgrade. Look at this thing. This looks so cool now. All right. I got uh, another mutant fish. So we'll see if it's this easy, if we just needed two mutants, and that's all we need for the third flame. I'm assuming it's a specific mutant, though. I hope I got it right. Okay, made it here safely, didn't lose the fish. Please tell me, it says two malformed fish writhing, writhing under the sun. The rock splits with an almighty crack. Oh my god, it actually worked? Dude, that got lucky, okay. And we got a talisman. All right, I feel like I needed to drop uh, a four-slotted item somewhere. Oh, I can't even pick it up. What? What the hell? Oh, wait, I got to install it. Uh, what is it? I feel like this is how we're going to catch some sort of weird fish. So I guess we'll uninstall this and put it in the storage because I need to install this on the boat. <laughs> what is this? All right, well, let's head back to this and light all the beacons and see what exactly that does. That might point us in the direction of where we use this talisman. All right, all three are lit. What happens now? Preparations are complete. The fanatic awaits. Oh, God. The chill of the deep touches us now. It is time come. Follow him up the steps of the temple. At the top is a black stone altar. Stacked high upon the altar are layers of dark, damp wood. He pulls an antique pocket watch from inside his robe. Droplets of sea spray crackle and seethe in the air around it. You are drawn to it too, I see. It found me during my rite of proving as I scavenged for creatures of power. It sapped at my spirit when I first recovered it, but I came to appreciate its strange nourishment with time. It's almost yours. May it mark the start of your journey and the end. What the hell are you talking about? All right, he's doing a chant. Um, I'm just gonna say nothing cold blue flame arises from the sodden wood at his feet. Say nothing. Let's see. Well, let's continue this. See what happens. The freezing bla blaze climbs his legs. His chanting continues. No pain detectable in his voice. Oh, great. Seconds later, an inferno engulfs him. <laughs> Why am I laughing? What's wrong with me? A cold mist pools around the floor of the temple briefly before the wind sweeps it into the sea. No trace of the fanatic remains. I mean, I hope he was happy about that. Let's inspect. Ooh, we got it. All right. Well, that is the final relic. And, uh, well, we made quick work of this place. I mean, obviously, there's still probably some things here. I've been avoiding a lot of it only because of those stupid little fish that try to attack me. So I definitely do want to explore it more, but I think it's a good time to wrap up this episode here. Sorry, it's a bit of a cliffhanger being that we just got the final antique or relic. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what happens when we uh, give that to the mansion guy. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.